Hey guys, I like doing these trig limits, so let's do one. These are the notes we're gonna use. The limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over x equals one. Notice how the graph of sine of x over x approaches one as x approaches zero. This is also true of sine two x over two x or sine three x over three x or anything else as long as these two numbers match. In fact, if we do sine ax over ax and use a slider for all these different values of a, you can see they will all hit at one when x equals zero. But if it is anything different like sine two x over 3x, then it doesn't approach 1. It only works if these two terms are the same. So we can't use this right away because this 5 theta is not the same thing as the 2 theta. So our goal is to get this to match this. Step 1, let's get rid of this 2. We're going to pull it out so we have 1 half times all of this. And then for the next step, let's multiply top and bottom by 5. So this 5 down here can join the theta, and now these match, which is what our goal was. So then we can do 1 half times 5, which is 5 halves. And then we can split these two things up and give them each their own limit. And the limit as theta approaches zero of five halves is just five halves. There's no theta here, so it just stays five halves. And then the limit as theta approaches zero of this, well, we can use these notes now. Since these two things match and they're approaching zero, it's going to be equal to one. And then five halves times one is equal to five halves. And that's the answer to our question. So the whole trick was just to make these match so that we could change it into one. If you want to try more of these types of problems, I have this page on andymath.com. There's a whole bunch of practice problems. The link is in the description. How exciting.